Next up, the open male taplin relay. Well, really a combination. The male and female, we uh, put them in both together and still the fun continues down here at Torquay. Yeah, just another little difference that keeps everyone coming back. Gives some of those girls a chance to, to knock off the guys and, and get bragging rights for, for the rest of the summer. So we've seen the big guns there. Malulavar and Northcliffe, they've battled it out all year and, and been a big big contingent from Half Moon Bay. And, and the Torquay girls, they were the, the state champions last year. So they'll be looking to give the Australian champions Northcliffe here a real red hot crack. So he said uh, the conditions here are so chilly and uh, look at Harriet Brown had a fantastic day here uh, down at Torquay and that opening ski leg and scary times it was uh, mainly for the boys because when you when you race against a couple of girls and I remember doing it when I was in Nippo, we used to race against the girls, we used to race against this great swimmer Natasha Bowron, she was uh, an, an Australian, uh, Australian level swimmer and when she beat the boys, it was pretty scary. So the guys, no excuses. You really had to get going. Yeah, it's called being chicked, Kurt. That's where one of the girls takes out one of the guys. But it was all Malulabar from the start here. Matty Bevilacqua, not the noted ski paddler, but he did a good job of getting out in front from, from Half Moon Bay. Oh, and there's a little bit of support there from Max Beatty. They have a bit of a bromance going there. And it's all a bit of fun down here at, at Torquay as, as he hands off to Matty Poole. And the boys look like they're enjoying themselves, even though they seem to be freezing it up. And it's Half Moon Bay from Kevin Morrison hurting there from uh, after that ski race. Yeah, the boys are certainly, it's always fun to watch the uh, the ski paddlers do their run transitions, but into the swim leg, and really you wouldn't want anyone else uh, leading off your swim than, than Matt Poole as the girls came around and Harriet Brown continued her great form and, and the great form of this Northcliffe club that I guess they just love to race and all smiles here and you get to see uh, the big tag here of uh, Laura McGlone, but Definitely a, a fun day out uh, for the girls, and uh, especially uh, in these really uh, cold conditions, you can you can still enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's it. You've got to have a laugh when you're freezing, and the guys seem to be having a little bit of fun. So it's it's a good day of racing. Any any chance that the the guys get to take on the girls, they're they're certainly going to go for it. And yeah, it, it was a really really good day as we see the Torquay Club going out. But out in front, Matty Poole makes no mistakes once again. We've seen him in. I think he's almost had four Taplin relay. Um, wins from four starts so far so he's looking to get another one here with the, with his Moolabar teammates and there probably isn't what anyone you'd want to tag going into a final board leg as Cam Cole our last round board winner but there's a bit of an upset in second place with Half Moon Bay leading out of that swim ahead of Northcliffe probably the the most feared and number one Taplin club in the country but the southern states are doing well here they love it when the the Queensland clubs come down and they really try and put on a show and, and knock some of the favorites off yeah, definitely Half Moon Bay really tried to lift here at the moment. Tan and Linden came through for Northcliffe. And Max Beattie to finish off for them. And Laura McGlone came through for the Northcliffe ladies. And another great swimmer. And once again, these girls, uh, even though they didn't really have too much opposition to race against, still tried to give it a good go. And on to Matty Dunn, plenty of smiles. And, well, at least the boys, they survived it. They didn't get tracked down by the ladies. But uh, obviously Cam Cole made the turn for home. And the battle was really on for the miners, but it was shut the gate. Malulabar, uh, another big day out in this Taplin relay. But Torquay, again, uh, some good experience for them. And, and it'll be interesting to see how they go when they when they get to full strength and get to race against a full strength field in the women as well. Yeah, Cam Cole, they're doing, doing it very easily. We saw him turn that can and pick up a wave. And a quick little laugh from a few of the boys. And, and they've had to, oh, and a little pirouette there. Uh, the boys are having fun there. Uh, that's some twinkle toes work there from Cam Cole. And he's quick on his feet. He's done a great job here to win the Open Men's Taplin Relay. Yeah, it's not every day you get to uh, really enjoy yourself in these races. Normally, it's very serious business uh, when you come down. Obviously, summer of surf points on the line. But to come here at Jim Wall, and we've seen it, and we'll see it in a few other events today as well. The fun had, but a brilliant final leg in the board there by Max Beattie. Butts the Northcliffe team into second place. And Half Moon Bay, big thumbs up to the crowd and, and thumbs up to the hometown support as well. And Redhead there taking fourth spot. And pretty cruisy in the women's as Matty Dunn comes out to take the win for Northcliffe. The girls just finishing off there, but here we go. The results here for the open male Taplin relay. Round six of talk here at the Summer of Surf and Malula Bar A. They've been so consistent all summer, really the ones to watch. Paul Cole, Bevel Aqua, and they can win it. Three man, six man. It's going to be a tight battle against arch rivals Northcliffe A as well. Great to see the local lads in Half Moon Bay. The Victorians there throwing their hat in the ring. And there we go, the results from the open female taplin. Just the two teams, but well represented Northcliffe A and the home club of Torquay. I'm here with Malulba, winner of the Open Taplin Relay, Maddie Bev. You, you set that up early in the ski leg? 
Yeah, I got a nice little turn around that can and um, got onto a wave. I was pretty stoked with that and just sat there all the way to the beach. It was good fun. We're in the middle, Matty. You've now won four Taplin relays in the summer surf. How important is this race to you? Yeah, I mean, the Taplin relay is sort of the pinnacle for the, uh, the surf life saving scene in teams events. And I guess my little bar's got so much depth that, you know, it helps us a lot with having strong swimmers, uh, board paddlers and ski paddlers. It's definitely good having guys like Cam Cole on the board and Bevy on the ski. And Cam Carl, you did it pretty easily in the end. What was with the pirouette around the flag? Um, yeah, well, first of all, two guys in front of me did all the work for me, so I had a um, pretty easy, pretty easy last leg. The crowd was begging for a pirouette, so I gave them one. Congratulations, Malula Bar Taplin Relay winners down here at Torquay. Uh, the little number one finger there, but not number one in the overall point score, Malula Bar. They're going to have to relinquish that title at the moment to Northcliffe after six rounds of competition. Northcliffe A, a really nice handy lead ahead of their arch rivals, Malula Bar, the two strongest clubs in the nation. And then we talk about strong clubs as well, and they're in third spot, the current New South Wales state champions in Newport A. And moving on to the second page. Points all important, and look at this, how tight they are. Just a few points separating the likes. Surface Paradise, the Victorians, Half Moon Bay, Curra's there as well. And we've got some big carnivals to continue. So that's